Hi, and welcome to the weekly, your source for the trends and innovations we're seeing in the commercial construction market. So this past weekend was Passover and Easter, and what a difference a year makes. Last year, we were just heading into this mess and had no idea what was coming our way. This year, we're heading in the opposite direction. Thank goodness. And it feels a lot better. We're not 100% there, but good things are coming our way. Our sponsor for today's show is Sierra Pacific Windows. And they offer an expansive line of products for all segments in the commercial market. And they marry that with an architectural services group that help you with the management of your project, with the flexibility of product, and with customized solutions. They are there to support exactly what you need to get done. So today's focus for the show, the future is now. About two weeks ago, 60 Minutes did a nice little segment on Boston Dynamics and their robots. If you saw it, it was super cool. And one of their robots was Spot. So we're going to show you Spot and how he can be used in construction. Developed by Boston Dynamics, it is a general purpose robot and we are exploring it for construction. Um, it has a very robust control system and it has five cameras around it where it can basically see and navigate uh, through the spaces. It has sensors and motors and the legs and it's uh, a really good example of a mobile robot, especially for construction, because construction sites are not designed for real robots, uh, designed for human with legs. And uh, legged robots, in that sense, they can traverse different train. And that is a really good opportunity to include and integrate um, legged robots like Spot in construction. But it's, it's a platform, you can add any sort of um, capabilities to that. Um, we are specifically adding a camera, a 360 degree camera to take pictures. Maybe John can explain that more. Yeah, so uh, the industry we've been uh, observing and being a part of how the transformation of progress monitoring uh, before uh, someone like myself would go into the field and take 100 pictures on their cell phone of what's going on on the construction site that day and then go back to their computer and maybe dump it into a folder. Uh, it would take a lot of time to put a description on each one of those pictures. Now we have these platforms out there that you can have a floor plan where you can locate your pictures on uh, and very well organize them. And so uh, we're kind of looking at how we can use that robot to take those pictures on the floor plan on a, uh, a routine basis and eliminate mundane tasks for a project engineer, superintendent, someone who is going around every day and taking those pictures. And then is the idea, um, John, that, you know, I know because we've written quite a bit about drones, but drones don't really play well indoors. Is the idea that Spot can navigate spaces that drones cannot? Uh, navigate? Uh, that's a very good topic. Uh, just the drones and Spot, uh, they both have their own specialties. Uh, Spot can't fly. Um, so Spot might not be able to get up into a high atrium to take photography that you might need. Um, but like Karash alluded to before, uh, it can really navigate some tough terrains. And uh, there are definitely advantages and disadvantages to having a, a legged robot versus a, a flying drone. And I'd love to, Wally, maybe you could explain this partnership um, between Procon and, and Virginia Tech. What is the actual research project that you all are engaged with right now? 
I want to explain. I think this is a good question, and I want I want to elaborate on that, and, I, and I'm going to pass it on to Steve after so he can add. Um, Procon is um, was created by two Virginia Tech alumni. Uh, they actually went through our program back in the late '90s, early 2000s. How cool is that? And what great efficiency it brings to the project. Instead of a project manager having to walk the site every day, Spot just does his thing and you get the pictures. Absolutely fantastic. So let's go to another future thinker. Her name is Francesca Burks. She's got the title of Global Insight Leader. But Francesca will tell you, it's not all about how smart she is. It's the whole group. There are two kind of core focus areas for us. There's the engagement part, um, which I started to describe. And then there's really like the discovery and the exploration in terms of really getting into you know, the questions that we feel like we need to answer. So much of this is about the questions. So in terms about, you know, if I think about um, some, some approaches that um, help us with the engagement and with the discovery, um, we do regular out outreach to our sector leaders. So I'm constantly barraging them, hopefully they don't mind, and just asking them, you know, so what are you, what are you seeing? And it's really part of their responsibility and it's an expectation of them that they actually be looking, you know, externally and, um, you know, you know, providing us and our, our clients with insights in terms of what's going on in the industry. The other tool is that we actually um, fairly regularly facilitate client stream brainstorming sessions where we really dig into some of the challenges and opportunities that we're seeing in our client sectors. So that's something that we do. And then um, one of the latest, which I really like, because I'm into democratizing, um, you know, the way that we work is inspired by um, an ideas portal on the internet, on the Woods Bagot internet. We're actually developing a virtual version of the, you know, suggestion box. So we, again, really want to open up the possibility for all of our staff to contribute towards our collective intelligence. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting segment. And the key takeaway is not only knowing what's coming your way, but how do you facilitate doing what's coming your way? That's the key. So that ends our show for today. We greatly appreciate you joining us. Big shout out to our sponsor, Sierra Pacific Windows and their architectural services group that help you with every aspect of your project. If you missed any of our segments, they're available here on Horizon TV and on YouTube. And if there's anything you'd like to see on the show, please email me. There's my email address. But thanks for joining us. Have a wonderful week. Please be safe. Let's keep it going in the right direction. And we'll see you next Thursday. Thanks a lot.